Naomi Winborn Idrissi was suspended from the Labour Party. Hopefully I haven't butchered her name. Now, who is she? Well, she co-founded the left-wing organisation uh, Jewish Voice for Labour, which looks like it's a predominantly home for left-wing Jews, uh, long-standing Labour member, Corbyn supporter and defender. But why exactly was she suspended? This is a quote from Russia Today. Britain's Labour Party has suspended two leading members of a local organisation, one of whom is Jewish after they publicly accused Keir Starmer of using an anti-Semitism probe to crack down on former party leader Jeremy Corbyn. Those sanctioned are the chair of Chingford and Woodford Green constituency Labour Party, Gary Lefley, and its vice chair Naomi Wimborne Idrissi. The suspension came after the two-stage and online meeting with fellow party members earlier this week, criticising the way the Labour leadership has handled the Equalities and Human Rights Commission, the EHRC, report on anti-Semitism in the party and expressed support for the former party head Corbyn. So that seems to be our explanation, but what rule did she break? Did she put the party into disrepute? Did she commit anti-Semitism? She's Jewish herself. I highly doubt it. From this quote, and it, it does check out if people are skeptical RT, I went on the Jewish Chronicle as well, it basically paints the same picture. That the local uh, Labour Party, Chingford uh, and Woodford Green, um, created a bit of a uh, heated atmosphere, shall I say. Um, some people were uncomfortable. For merely pointing out, look, look not, the Jewish community is not a homogenous uh, community. There's a diverse in voices. What I find absolutely disgusting, though, is the fact that she's been booted out from the Labour Party or suspended pending an investigation because she doesn't hold the exact same views of uh, the leadership or, quite frankly, the right type of Jew. Now, what is the right type of Jew? Well, it's commonly more known as the wrong type of Jew. Now, Naomi, she says, and I'll, there's a video I will link you to from Double Down News. It is perfect in uh, explaining how left-wing Jews and their voices are being marginalised. Uh, it's clearly, again, more attack on free speech from Keir Starmer. Um, like I said, from, from what we heard so far, that some people felt uncomfortable with her views, um, which her views are pretty moderate to me. She's pro-Palestinian. She's saying that... But she did say that some anti-Semitism has been weaponised for a factional game. That is true. Uh, but what is what really pisses me off is the fact is that Keir Starmer, the new leadership, are saying we need zero tolerance, zero tolerance of anti-Semitism in the Labour Party. But if you're Jewish and you don't agree with us, we'll still beat you out. That's to me anti-Semitic. You know, I was wrong before when people said that Labour was institutionally anti-Semitic. I defended the party and said, of course, there's anti-Semitism in the party, but under Jeremy Corbyn. Improvements were made. I don't believe it's institutionally anti-Semitic. I'm not going to say I'm wrong. And yes, the Labour Party is institutionally anti-Semitic, but it predates Jeremy Corbyn. Uh, it's been going on for a long time. I also think it's institutionally anti-Palestinian. Because if you're suspending members who are Jewish, by the way, but doesn't conform to the current view of the current leadership, or maybe the Board of Deputies, that to me is anti-Semitism because you're saying you cannot have that view. So if you haven't already, uh, like and share this video and subscribe to this media channel, Turn Left Media, because in the world of corporate media and our democracy being taken away from the billionaire class, we need independent media with independent voices.